Yo, what's up Guardians? This week's TWAB is a spicy mid-season update. We've got some difficulty scaling, weapon balancing, and a sneak peek at big season 21 changes. So let's dive right in. Now before TWAB gets to TWAB things, Bungie takes a second to remember Amanda Holiday. Hey, since Bungie said it, it's not spoilers anymore. You can take a second to read the message for yourself, but to be honest, I would have hoped for a small message in there to address the timing between this season's tragedy and our real life one being so close together. But they opt out of any comments about that. Moving on to difficulty scaling, there's a lot left to be desired here. I know a lot of the community is wanting Bungie to address the out of whack scaling between patrols and lost sectors being too hard and raids and master raids being very easy compared to previous expansions. Well, Bungie's solution as of right now is to reduce the HP of all enemies in legend and master activities, excluding dungeons and raids, by 10%. I don't know about you guys, but I was expecting an increase in difficulty for raids, master raids instead. Really, it just seems like Bungie is going in a more beginner friendly direction with the majority of their content. We've seen this trend for a while now. It's sad to see, but we've got three more seasons and many more TWABs before the final shape for Bungie to bring it back around. Keeping on the positive side, Bungie also announced some major PvE buffs coming to certain weapon types this week. Auto rifles get a hefty 25% buff. Pulse rifles, hand cannons, and sidearms got a 20% buff. And finally, scout rifles received a compensating 10% buff as well. As a note, these changes are to red and orange bar enemies only, but that is still a huge game changer when it comes to what guns you may pick going into Grandmasters just a few weeks away. As far as PvP goes, Bungie also made some slight changes to weapons such as aggressive frame SMGs, rapid fire fusion rifles, trace rifles, and rapid fire sniper rifles. The most notable being a 50% flinch reduction for rapid snipers and a 30% increase in ammo reserves. Honestly, nothing too crazy here, but Bungie did allude to a more significant look at the state of aggressive frame SMGs in PvP coming in Season 21. As far as exotics, there is a huge buff coming to Revision Zero with four times the charm no longer taking you out of Hunter's Trace. Hunter's Trace now doing 25% more damage in PvE and the Hake Heavy Burst Rounds now doing a whopping 75% more damage in PvE. I know it's only been one season, but dust off those Revision Zeros because that may be your sleeper pick for upcoming Grandmasters. To top it off, Bungie gave us a look at their thought process on the relationship between Zoom and the falloff damage stat. Bungie said that they're looking to separate the two in an effort to be able to fine tune weapons more easily without impacting how the weapon feels overall. Overall, I think this is a great change and anything Bungie can do to make the tuning process faster and better for everyone is a win in my book. And then, they gave us this. The Season 21 Preview comes with a few things. An update on hipfire reticles with some more useful information, which I thought was a pleasant surprise and really useful stuff. It also came with the SMG nerf that we talked about earlier and more exotic adjustments in the future. And they just casually mentioned that in Season 21, PvE sniper damage is getting a 10% increase. I mean, here we go. Is it finally time? Is it, is it finally time to dust off the baby boy? My sweet wisp of the worm, I can't wait for you to return. 
I honestly can't wait for another dominant PvE sniper rifle meta. It's been way too long, and I'd love Season 21 to be the season where snipers can compete with the rest of the big boys in in-game content again. Well, that is it for this week's TWAB. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Did you like the changes? Did you hate them? Are you here for another sniper meta in 2023? If you like the video and want to see more, slam that subscribe button and mash that like button. And as always, stay safe out there, Guardians, and I'll see you next time.